As the national price on pollution rises today, meaning Canadians will pay more to heat their homes, fill their tanks as well. Yeah, the price at the pumps rose three cents in the GTA, so it now sits at just under a dollar sixty-three cents a liter, and this comes as the consumer carbon levy climbed fifteen dollars per ton. The charge is added to the price of more than 20 different fuel sources, which provide and produce greenhouse gas emissions. So the price on pollution now stands at $80 a ton. However, the increase comes with a boost to the rebate that the government issues to help mitigate the cost. Ottawa plans to increase the levy each year until 2030. The program was established in 2019 to combat climate change. It does require provinces and territories to create their own levy on greenhouse gas emissions or adopt the federal system. And federal conservative leader Pierre Polyev joins us live this afternoon with his reaction to the carbon tax increase. Uh, Mr. Polyev, thanks so much for making time for CP24. We appreciate this. Thank you. Uh, you have really railed against this move, talked at great length about axing the tax. Uh, there's a number of premiers who, who agree with you, and they're now challenging the increase. How do you see that playing out? Badly so far for taxpayers. Uh, Trudeau has with the help of the NDP, hiked the carbon tax by 23%. This will mean more expensive gas, heat, and, of course, groceries, because if you tax the, f the fuel of the farmer who grows the food and the trucker who ships the food, you're taxing all who buy the food. This will kill jobs. It'll vaporize about $18 billion of our GDP, uh, and that means $1,000 in lost wages for every family in Canada. My common sense plan is to axe the tax to bring home lower prices. Trudeau wants to quadruple the tax now up to 61 cents a litre and common sense conservatives will axe the tax. So there's your choice in the next election. Either you have a Trudeau NDP government that taxes your food, takes your money, punishes your work, doubles your housing costs and unleashes crime and chaos in your community or common sense conservatives who will axe the tax build the homes, fix the budget, stop the crime. Uh, look, there's no denying that the affordability crisis is real, but many say the climate emergency cannot wait either. Uh, last summer, Mr. Polyev, Canada experienced the worst wildfire season ever. We just had the hottest winter ever recorded. What is your carbon plan beyond axing the tax? What, what do you say to Canadians who don't think you have a plan? We are, we're the only party that has a climate plan and an environmental plan. And that is technology and not taxes. Uh, we need to green light green projects like hydroelectric dams, nuclear power, um, tidal power, carbon capture and storage, and other emissions-free electricity sources. Uh, unfortunately, uh, under Trudeau, it takes 18 years to get permits for any of those kinds of energy sources. So people are paying more for traditional energy they still need, that for which there are no real alternatives, while he stands in the way of building the grid that will supply green energy. So here's the choice. He supports taxes. I support technology. He wants to drive up the cost of traditional energy we still need. I want to drive down the cost of carbon-free alternatives. He stands in the way of our workers uh, and um, blocks their projects. I want to green light green projects. He wants to drive uh, resource dollars to dirty dictators. I want to bring home those dollars in powerful paychecks for our people. Uh, you have a lot to say about the Liberals. Uh, they fired back at you as well. The, the Natural Resources Minister has said that your yet to actually be articulated climate plan is, quote, essentially to let the planet burn, end quote. I want to give you a chance to respond to that. Well, this is the kind of hyperbolic, um, hyperpartisan distraction you can expect from Trudeau and his uh, radical ministers. L look at life under Trudeau. I was just watching the uh, newscast before I came on of how beautiful neighborhoods have been torn apart by crime uh, as he has, uh, Trudeau has released the worst violent criminals into the streets and put guns and drugs in their hands. Look at our young people who have to wait till they're 40 years old before they can afford a home. Uh, look at the two million people lined up at food banks. This is life after just after eight years of Justin Trudeau. He is not worth the cost, not worth the crime, not worth the country we know and love. Fortunately, we have a common sense conservative party that will bring home the Canada we love by axing the tax, building the homes, 
fixing the budget and stopping the crime. Uh, you talked about building affordable homes. Uh, so I want to pick up on that specifically here in the GTA. Yeah. You've promised to cut the red tape on housing construction. That's a big part of your pitch. Uh, your provincial counterpart, though, Premier Doug Ford, uh, he's dismissed a fourplex policy here. Do, do you disagree with the Premier? And have you talked to him about this? I haven't just discussed it with him, but it's clear that after eight years of Trudeau, housing costs have doubled. All of his big government programs in Ottawa have built a lot of bureaucracy. They haven't built any homes. And that's why the average mortgage, the average rent, and the average down payment needed to buy a home have all doubled under eight years of Trudeau. When I was housing minister eight years ago, the average rent was about 950 bucks for a, a, a one bedroom. Now it's over 2000 uh, how do we bring down the costs? We have to get government gatekeepers out of the way to let builders build. I will require municipalities permit 15% more housing completions per year as a condition of getting federal funds. Those that beat the target will get a bonus. Those that miss it will pay a fine. I will uh, sell off 6,000 federal buildings, thousands of acres of federal land. I'll require every federally funded transit station be uh, pre-permitted for high density housing uh, in order to get the federal money. And I'll back the trades so we have the workers who can build things. We need boots, not suits, uh, to bring home more affordable pro housing prices. Okay, Pierre Polyev, a leader of the Conservative Party of Canada. Thanks for your time. Thank you.